Okay, we're going to start with an email received from Keurig, holiday-related emails regarding a one-day sale and clicking through on that email to Keurig.com. And in this case, this promotion has expired. By going back to the main Keurig page, you'll see it's recognizing, hi, Patrick, but it's not fully authenticated, not fully logged in. Um, it's because I've been on the site in the past. And here you'll see um, on Keurig.com, on the main page, is a carousel around bestsellers. This is Redpoint's product recommendation engine live in place, uh, recommending these specific K-cups. And there's a number of A-B tests that are happening here, um, alternating between personalized recommendations and more of a, a generic offer set. And this approach has already had a massive improvement for Keurig. So we can see the experience here coming to Keurig.com. We can also take a look at what this might look like for a first time visitor on Keurig.com. You'll see they're presented with a 20% off uh, first Keurig.com purchase offer. It doesn't recognize the individual. It does present a new year deal coupon code to the individual. But going back to the Keurig.com profile, we'll decide to log in here. And if we go under My Account, we'll see that there's an entire preference center in place at Keurig, allowing the consumer to update their password, their profile, their interests, their address, as well as look at specific brewers that they've registered before. That's really what we're hoping to do here is register an appliance. And we'll register a new brewer, put in a code here. Your brewer is registered. Congratulations. And now it's presenting some additional content to follow up. Okay, here's an example of a confirmation email from Keurig congratulating you on registering your coffee maker. You'll see that there's a specific coupon and a coupon code here to additional uh, products, as well as the opportunity to click into an offer they call the Perfect Cup, which is an interactive quiz to understand consumer preferences. We'll take a visit to the quiz page. Here we'll see the perfect cup. We'll take a quiz to understand coffee style and profile and the recommendations that are happening here are powered by Redpoint. Um, so we'll see here my coffee style is set in stone. I'm interested in caffeinated. Uh, I like my coffee to taste more smooth and usually take my coffee with milk, cream, or sugar. And my aroma typically uh, reminds me of caramel. And what's happening here is Redpoint is providing a specific set of recommendations based on uh, K cups that are available as well as quiz question answers. So there's thousands of combinations that could happen. And here are the four specific K cups um, that are recommended. So I'm going to add one of these to my cart and then decide to check out and apply the coupon code that was given. And I have just confirmed my order. Here you'll see that I've received an order confirmation from Keurig confirming my order with a specific order number mailing address and time frame for delivery, as well as additional information and additional offers to consider. This completes the consumer side of the Keurig story, but next we'd like to talk to you about how we actually make this happen for marketers within the Redpoint Customer Engagement Hub.